everybody. This is David with Second Main Phase, and we are back with another Magic Origins draft. Um, and this pack is, is pretty sweet. We've got a uh, Guy's Revenge is our rare. Um, Anchor to the Aether and Undercity Troll are both very strong on commons, and Fiery Impulse is probably the best common, or at least one of the best commons, certainly the best red common. Um, so those are the four that I'm looking at. Um, Guy's Revenge is, is a bomb. Um, it, it's something that your opponent basically has to two for one, um, and uh, it's it's just very strong. Um, but it is expensive, so there there is a tax for taking a, a first pick guy's revenge. Um, I think that tax is low enough though that I'm probably still going to take it here. If I wasn't taking the guy's revenge, I'd probably take the fiery impulse just for my uh, preference for red in the format. I think fiery impulse under city troll are pretty close, with anchor to the aether being just slightly behind that. Um, Though Anchor to the Aether is still a, a very good card, it will always make your deck. Um, on the wheel, we can maybe hope to pick up the Orchard Spirit or like, I don't know, maybe a Dead Bridge Shaman or something. But I, I, I like taking a Guy's Revenge here because it's just, it is the most powerful card. Okay, and um, from this pack we have a, a couple of other options. Uh, throwing Knife is decent. Um, Sphinx's Tutelage can be a lot of fun, uh, building those those grindy uh, decks that, you know, where this is a win condition. Um, Separatist Void Mage and Lightning Javelin are both good, but I think Swift Reckoning is, like, really good. I think this card is is one of the the better removal spells in the format. You know, it's basically Doomblade, um, all except, you know, against uh, certain, certain uh, Vigilant creatures. Um, certainly the blue cards in this pack are powerful, um, but I think Swift Reckoning is enough better that I, I like taking it here. Um, and it's the kind of card that you can splash if you'd like to. Okay. Um, again, these packs have been really good. Blue does look open, um, but there's a Sky Snare Spider here with a, a first pick Guy's Revenge, and Sky Snare Spider is like a, a very good uncommon. Jessian Thief is also very good, um, but I don't mind taking the Spider here as I, I think they're pretty close on the power level. Um, and. Uh, and we're, we, we already have a green bomb. Um, certainly taking the Jessian Thief here um, might, you know, cement us into blue. I have a feeling the person to our left is already going to be cutting blue pretty hard, though. Not that that's a huge consideration, but I think, like, just choosing between these two cards, I'd rather have the Sky Snare Spider. Um, and even if it was close, because we have a Guy's Revenge, like, I'd rather just take the, the Spider here. Okay. So, there's a Leaf Gilder. Which is very good. Um, Freak's Disciple is also a consideration, but for this format, you really want two drops. Um, there's also Clash of Wills. Is I, I like actually playing Clash of Wills in in this format. Um, you can get a lot of people with it, um, and it's a great way to uh, you know if you miss your two drop, you can you can clash their two drop so that you don't fall too far behind. Um, if we did decide to move into green blue, obviously Yavamaya Coast would be nice, but. Um, we're getting strong green cards passed to us with two green bombs, and I think I'm fine just sort of taking good green cards for now. Um, and another Leaf Gilder is going to be the pick here. I love Elvish Visionary, um, but I think actually Leaf Gilder is the best card in this pack. Um, Visionary is good. Orchard Spirit is playable, but not, not great. Um, Artificer's Epiphany can be very good in the blue artifact decks, um, but like in other decks it's just just you know not that good. Um, and the other cards in the pack are all mostly filler, so I'm, I think, you know, taking the Leaf Gilder here is totally fine. Alright, uh, there's nothing in this pack that makes me want to move off of green, and I do like Elvish Visionary. Um, you know, having some expensive cards in hand, having the Leaf Gilders to ramp us, and the Visionary to, like, help us hit our land drops, or, or draw into our bombs, I think is a safe plan. Um, Empyrean Tactician is fine, but I'm not positive we're in white. We could, we could splash the Swift Reckoning, or maybe just not play it altogether. Um, so I, I'm fine just, just staying green for now. Alright, Draga's Invocation is very good um, in the green decks, but Bogger Brood is also very good. Um, and there's a Subterranean Scout in the pack as well. Um, but I think Draga's Invocation, like, we're clearly going to be green, and this is a green bomb. Like, I think... Among the green uncommons, you know, you've got the, the Sky Snare Spider and Draga's Invocation, I think is probably better than Undercity Troll. I think Draga's Invocation is just like a a finisher. Like, you play this card and, and they have to trade off you know, or, or, or lose almost all of their creatures, or you just hit them for a million and win. So I'm going to take it. Um, here, 
So here we actually have some choices. Um, I'm not going to take Gather the Pack. I could see taking Might of the Masses, but it's not very impressive, and I don't think I need to take it here. Um, Sigil, I think, is unplayable and limited. Um, like, you can get some decks where it works, but you really want to, like, be picking this, I don't know, first or second. And in green, there's not a lot that that benefits from this. Um, I think what I'm going to take here is either an, the Evolving Wilds or one of the black cards. Um, Read the Bones and Dead Bridge Shaman are both good. Um, and we could go into, like, a black-green Elves deck. But I think here I'm going to take the Evolving Wilds just to stay open. Um, we haven't seen, like... The, the black's been okay. That's been shipped to us, but it hasn't been amazing. So I'm fine doing that. All right, so here there's nothing really going on. Um, Deep Sea Terror is not what we're looking for. It's pretty expensive. I'm going to take the Dead Bridge Shaman here. It's a decent creature. Um, and here I'm going to actually... Like, again, like none of these cards are particularly... Um, enticing. I'm going to take an Aerial Volley for the sideboard, because I, I found that actually is a very great sideboard card to have. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Bellows Lizard, Smash Smithereens aren't really what I'm looking for. I'll just take another Dead Bridge Shaman. It's not clear if we're going to be green-black, but we certainly could be. You know, I like green-white a, a fair bit in the format. Um, and Swift Reckoning is, like, a very strong reason to be green-white, but we didn't get shipped, basically, like, any really strong white cards. We got, we got shipped some decent stuff. There was like a Charging Griffin um, and, and some other okay white cards um, that came by, but but I, I think we're going to get cut if we move into white. Um, Call of Full Moon or Macabre Waltz? Macabre Waltz is fine. I don't think it's great, but it's fine. Um, I don't like Thorn Bow Archer, um, but I guess like in some crazy elf deck we might play it. I don't know. I, I don't like Volcanic Rambler either. I, I would not want to play a Thornbow Archer, basically, ever. Um, like, it's great if you play it on turn one and get an attack in, um, or, or two, but after that it becomes terrible. So yeah, I mean, we can we can get Ramblers whenever we want, so it's fine. All right, well, pack one pr went pretty well for us. We have some very strong green cards, um, so that's, that's sort of definite. And then, you know, where we go from there is sort of up to us. Um... Yeah, so there's some good cards in here. Um, Patron of the Valiant, it's great. You know, nothing else to say about that. Um, Valerian Wardens is also decent, though we don't have any, uh, as of yet, renowned creatures. If we do decide to go green-white, we'd rather have the Valerian Wardens than the Patron. Like, and because we have no renowned creatures, the Patron is just a 5-mana 4-4 four, four flyer, which is still very good, um, but it's double white. I think I'm just going to take the Wardens here. Um, the other cards that I would, like, consider are, like, if I decided to, like, go crazy and go into red, there's a gear crafter. We did see those late, uh, the late Bogart Brute. Um, but I, I don't see anything wrong with just sticking to green right now. We're not, like, getting any clear signals at this point. Okay. So there's a third Leaf Gilder and a Somberwald Alpha. Um, Somberwald Alpha is quite good. And we already have two Leaf Gilders. Yeah, this is a tough one. I don't think any of the other cards are very good. Um, Mizium Meddler is fine. Um, you know, it's this, like, lightning rod that can, that can you know, get your opponent once, and then they have to find a way to deal with it, I guess. But, uh, or no, I guess they don't even have to. Um, but anyway, I think it's just fine. I don't think it's a bomb. Um, but Somberwald Alpha is kind of a bomb. If you, if you build your deck correctly, and with, like, Draga's Invocation, it's quite good. Um, Leaf Gilder is also very good, but since we have two, I think I, I feel comfortable taking the, the alpha here. We're looking for removal. Um, yeah, it's basically it. Okay, so we're getting some good black cards coming around here. Necromatic Summons I've been quite impressed with. Uh, Read the Bones is very good, and Weight is also pretty decent. Um, it's not, like, amazing, but it, it, it is removal. Um, we are pretty removal light. But I think I can pass this way to the Underworld and maybe get it back. I think here I'm going to take the Read the Bones. I think it's just the best card um, in the pack. All right. So here... Zendikar Incarnate is a good magic card. Um, and it's something we could splash, I suppose, um, off of the Evolving Wild. I mean, there's no, there's no clear pull towards black at this point. Yeah, and if, if it's not that, then we're taking, like, what, a Shambling Ghoul? It's kind of hard to... This this pack is pretty weak overall. Like, we're not going to get anything playable back from this pack. I think I'm going to actually hedge and take the Incarnate. Like, sure, Shambling Ghoul would, like, make the deck and it'd be a fine 2-drop. But, like, 
We don't know we're black yet. I'm going to take the, the Incarnate here. All right, well, Dwinan's Elite's a pretty easy pickup. Um, and I think it's better than Fetid Imp or Read the Bones in our deck. We already have, you know, a number of low drop elves, and it goes great with Draga Invocation. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, if we decided to go green-black, probably the pick would be Fetid Imp over a second Read the Bones, but it's fine. All right. It's another Read the Bones. Or I could do something crazy. I mean, I think Read the Bones is probably the best card in the pack. We're so removal light though. It's kind of kind of worrisome at this point. Like we really need to pick up like a Reeve Soul if we want to stay black. If I wanted to, like we have two Dead Bridge Shaman, which are fine, and a Read the Bones. So a second Read the Bones is good. Um, could just take this Titan Strength though. If we decide to go red, I, I'm like kind of waffling here, but I think I actually do want the option of being red. Well, probably not anymore. A third Debrid Shaman is pretty weak, though. So I think, actually, I'm going to take the Caves here. Um, so then if I end up green-black, I can splash the Swift Reckoning off of the Evolving Wilds in the Caves. All right. Yeah, so we're going to stay... Well, I mean, Fetid Imp is very good, so I should probably take it here. Titanic Growth is just okay. Um, and I, I feel like I can pick up a similar effect in pack three if I really want it. So yeah, I'll take the Fetid Imp. Probably not playing the red cards. Um, I'll take away to the Underworld here. Rabbit Bloodsucker is fine, but I'd rather have, you know, at least some removal going on. Um, from this pack, I guess I'll take an Alchemist File. I don't know if I'm an Alchemist File deck quite yet, but um, it's fine. Necromatic Summons is great with all these bombs in the deck. Um, yeah, I think I like it better than an Evolving Wilds. Like, having too many Evolving Wilds in your deck can get kind of cumbersome. But yeah, at least it looks like we can splash the Swift Reckoning. And, like, our black cards are decent. Though not great. Like our green cards that we got in pack one are just so strong that I'm hoping that we get past a lot here. Take a night snare for the board, I guess. This card has actually been fine for me um, out of the board. You know, your opponent either has some problem cards or like you just make them discard too. It's fine. All right, we'll play a second read the bones. Guess. Um, I don't think I'm gonna play this card, but whatever. All right, so. Draft's going okay. Green-black is not my favorite color combination. Um, I don't think it has a lot of synergy. Like, the elves thing is, like, pretty pretty weak. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. We do have some very powerful curve toppers right now, so I'm not too worried about the deck. Like, we're definitely, we definitely need to pick up some good stuff in this pack, though. We're, we're incredibly removal light at the moment. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we need to be able to survive the early game. All right, so this pack has an Unholy Hunger in it, which I think has to be our take here. Hopefully the Timber Pack Wolves come back. Um, yeah, Unholy Hunger, get in. All right, here, here there is not much for us at all, which is a shame. There's not even really something that we can splash either. I mean, like, Stalwart Aven is probably, you know, the best card that we could conceivably pick. Timber Pack Wolves are fine. We may get back that other one, but I doubt it. Yeah, like Dark Dabbling and Malakir Coldblade are just not what we're looking for. So Timber Pack, which will make the deck, or Stalwart even, which like, probably won't make the deck. I'm gonna move this Alchemist file to the side. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take the the Aven right now. Um, like I know it's sort of weird, but like our black cards just aren't super exciting, and maybe like black is our splash. Yeah, just like sort of weird. Weird signals, or like a weird couple of first packs. They aren't really signals at this point. Like I think if I if I just want like random two drops, like I can find random two drops. And if we if we all of a sudden like if whoever was passing to us in back one has like moved out of white for some reason, then you know maybe we can start moving in. All right. Well, wow. Dwinin is really good in our deck. Like, our deck, like, currently, if I, yeah. So if I abandon the white here, Dwinin is very strong in our deck. Um, it boosts, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of our creatures currently, which is probably as, as good as you can ask. But Reef Soul is also very good, and Reef Soul is something our deck desperately needs. This is a tough one. Because, like, Dwinin actually, I think, is very good in our deck. Yeah. 
but passing up this reef soul might just might just end us with how little removal we have. I'm gonna take the Dwine in. I think it I think like what we need to do now is just like hope to push our power level up a little bit higher. Um, and we'll take this cruel revival here so I don't feel too terrible. I don't think this is a blightcaster deck. Yeah. Alright, so here Lanowar Empath is fine. I think I'd play it. It's another elf with Dwinin. Um, and we we're gonna be a creature deck, so I think this is fine. Lanowar Waste is decent for our deck. Makes splashing white a little bit easier. Um Shambling Ghoul. Shambling Ghoul. What do I think about Shambling Ghoul? We do need a few more creatures for the deck to work out. Yeah. Waste isn't, like, horribly good for us. We do have some double black and some double green at the high end. I guess I just take the Shambling Ghoul here. Ups our creature count. I'd Light Assassin. Looks good. Naru Trapper... Doesn't look that good. It, it ramps out. I mean, it doesn't really ramp out anything other than Dwinin or, or Lanowar Empath because, like, we're playing. If we're playing this on one and like playing one of these guys on two, we're not really getting ahead. Um, whereas I Blight Assassin is actually like good because it kills guys like this. So I'm gonna take that. Flashback Marauder. Like, I'm not like overly impressed with Flashback Marauder in the format, but uh, I think our deck is sort of removal light. And just having another way to get a problem creature off the board is good for us. Whereas, like, the, the second Shambling Ghoul is, is not so impressive. So I'm going to take that here. Um, take a second weight, though we may not play it. I just cut this Celestial Flare. Like, Celestial Flare is another card that's sort of not impressed me. I don't, I don't, we're not going to play a Return Centaur. So, yeah, I'll just move the Celestial Flare to the board. Um, cut this Charging Griffin. Uh, I guess Dark Dabbling might have some place in the deck. I don't know. Yeah. Undead Servant is not really a good match. Okay, if someone wants to play Valor of Akros, I'm going to let them have it. Um, yeah, so the deck ended up a little bit strange. Um, we'll, we will uh, be making some cuts here for sure. Probably cut the Necromatic Summons. Though, I could see playing it if we had to. All right, let's see. So I do want to cut, I, or sorry, I do want to play the Swift Reckoning. Um, so I'm going to play one planes in the deck and splash it. So we've got 25 cards right now, so we need to make two cuts, I think. Um, probably can cut one way to the underworld and probably a dead bridge shaman would be my guess. We don't want to cut too many of our creatures because this is sort of a creature deck. Um, I guess I could cut a Read the Bones. But Read the Bones is such a good top deck. Let's look. Lair and Wardens actually might be the cut. We have just one Renowned Creature. And it's, like, not even a very strong one. Like, a 1-3, like, sometimes just can't get in. Certainly if it gets in and becomes a 3-5 for 3, you're very happy. But since we don't have any other interactions with it, I think it's just not, not that strong in the deck. Alright, so... Outfitting this, we have one, two. Okay, so we're gonna play at yeah, one planes, and I don't think I agree with this. I think I want to. Well, let's see. We have a couple double black, one double black. So if I go six swamps, that's eight potential black sources and nine green sources. Yeah, I think that's better. All right. So yeah, so we got this black green deck. Um, I'm not a hundred percent certain about the. The way it turned out, I think we have some some powerful synergies with Dwinin and Draga's Invocation and, and sort of our Elves thing going on. We didn't pick up any Shaman of the pack, um, and we have an okay removal suite at this point, um, and some great bombs on our top end. So I think we can definitely get there, but uh, I do have some concerns that we may get you know out tempoed in certain matchups, um, or just uh, you know fail to draw our bombs, and then the rest of our cards aren't hugely impactful. Um, but we'll see how it does. So I'll see you guys in round one.